The Clash of the Cultures, Investment versus Speculation, by John C. Bogle, delves into the detrimental shift within the financial industry, away from long-term investment towards short-term speculation and its impact on market stability and investor outcomes. Bogle, the founder of Vanguard and a proponent of low-cost index investing, advocates for a return to a culture of long-term investing that aligns with the true interests of shareholders. Here's our pick of the top 10 insights from the book. Three, despite the allure of active management, index funds often outperform actively managed funds, highlighting the inefficiency of high-cost speculation strategies. Oh, the sweet temptation of active management, where suited-up stock pickers wield their financial crystal balls and promise to beat the market with their savvy choices. Meanwhile, the humble index fund sits quietly in the corner, about as exciting as watching paint dry, and yet, more often than not, quietly and consistently outperforms its flashier counterparts. The insight here is like a tortoise and hare bedtime story for investors. While active managers dash about, racking up fees and trying to outsmart the market, index funds plot along, embracing market returns at a fraction of the cost. It turns out that in the investment world, slow and steady and boring wins the race, making high-cost speculation strategies look like the investment equivalent of trying to win the lottery by lighting your money on fire. Keep it cool, keep it indexed. That's the, the pocket-protecting superhero of the investment universe. And two, the concept of fiduciary duty is eroding as fund managers increasingly prioritize their firm's profits over their clients' best interests. In a world where your investment manager might be more Wolf of Wall Street than Warren Buffett, the once sacred fiduciary duty has started to look like a suggestion rather than a strict code of honor. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there, and your retirement fund could become the chew toy if your fund manager is more invested in a new yacht than in your financial future. This fading ethos of fiduciary responsibility threatens to transform guardians of wealth into glorified salespeople with quotas to meet and bonuses to chase. And let's face it, when the bottom line becomes the top priority, you might end up wishing your piggy bank had stayed under your mattress, despite the uncomfortable sleep that would entail. Three, despite the allure of active management, Index funds often outperform actively managed funds, highlighting the inefficiency of high-cost speculation strategies. Oh, the sweet temptation of active management, where suited-up stock pickers wield their financial crystal balls and promise to beat the market with their savvy choices. Meanwhile, the humble index fund sits quietly in the corner, about as exciting as watching paint dry, and yet, more often than not, quietly and consistently outperforms its flashier counterparts. The insight here is like a tortoise and hare bedtime story for investors. While active managers dash about, racking up fees and trying to outsmart the market, index funds plot along, embracing market returns at a fraction of the cost. It turns out that in the investment world, slow and steady and boring wins the race, making high-cost speculation strategies look like the investment equivalent of trying to win the lottery by lighting your money on fire. Keep it cool, Keep it indexed. That's the pocket-protecting superhero of the investment universe. And four, the financial sector's shift towards speculation has contributed to greater market volatility and systemic risks, potentially undermining economic stability. Picture this. The financial sector, once a dignified old librarian carefully curating the economy's knowledge, has morphed into a wild gambler flipping coins, preferably gold ones, and spinning roulette wheels with abandon. As the thrill of speculation takes over, the market becomes a high-stakes casino where fortunes are made and lost in the blink of an eye. This isn't just high drama, 
It's a shaky financial blockbuster where increased volatility is the main character and systemic risk plays the sneaky villain lurking in the shadows, ready to push our economic stability off a cliff at the slightest provocation. Investing used to be about nurturing seeds into mighty financial oaks. Now it's about hacking through the jungle, trying not to be eaten by the carnivorous plant called risk. Welcome to the jungle. We've got fun and games, but watch out for those economic pitfalls. E5. The author advocates for a return to a simpler, more transparent financial system where the true value of companies is reflected rather than the inflated prices driven by speculation. Picture a financial world where the glitz and glam of high-frequency trading and complex derivatives take a backseat to good old-fashioned investment wisdom, where companies are judged by the robustness of their balance sheets instead of how they fare in the Wall Street casino. That's the utopia our author pines for. A financial Shangri-La where the true value of a company isn't cloaked in speculative fog, but shines as evidently as the smirk on a savvy investor's face when they've spotted a bargain. In this simpler, more honest system, seeing through the razzle-dazzle of market hype is not just a talent, it's a requirement for success. Welcome to the throwback future of investing, where your granddad's advice is as cutting edge as it gets. To sum it up, the clash of the cultures warns about the dangers of a financial system dominated by speculative trading at the expense of traditional value-driven investing and calls for a recommitment to the principles of fiduciary duty and long-term growth. Thank you for watching, and we hope this overview has offered some valuable insight into the book's key messages.